a safety demonstration uh, using nothing more than uh, our accessories, which uh, are these, a 450 gram double dead booster. The rest of the gear is a service line that looks like that, and uh, our down lines, and you can see the dead at the back of that. There's also a pattern that's uh, being set up that's debt cord, which is just that sort of shoelace looking stuff. <coughs> so all the gear that we're using today for the display is stuff that's laid out on collars, it's out on the, on the patterns all the time. It gets, if you get a bit hidden, a bit hard to see, this is stuff that we could run over. So I guess the guts of the day is just to explain signs and cones, that's the key thing. A few months ago we had a few breaches. You can see the signs and cones around the bonnet and the cones along the windrow. I guess the main message of today, apart from hoping to entertain you a little bit, is if you see these, please stay out for your safety and for ours. So we've got about five displays for you here. I know uh, the day's dragged on a little bit, I think, we're a bit behind schedule. So um, without further ado, we're going to set off uh, three decks here. Uh, one's under a hard hat, one's in a melon, and the other one's got a, a rigger's glove uh, filled with mince meat. Uh, also hooked up to a booster. So if everyone's got their earplugs on, get on to your earplugs, we'll get cracking. Bye when you're ready, Gordy. and if there's anything left of the glove, we'll bring that down as well. We actually shifted that a bit further this time. The last demonstration we did, people ended up getting splattered with a bit of mince meat. So we moved it out a bit further. So that's just the debts. Uh, the thing is, you just look at the green green line, the green shoelace on the side here. This is deck cord, something that we can use to tie in a pattern with. Um, again, on the surface, uh, easy to run over, easy to miss. So it's all about signs and cones staying out of the blast pattern. Goody. When you're ready, mate. Dead cord has a velocity of detonation about 7,000 metres a second, so it's sort of from here to the animal bar like that. So, yeah, I wouldn't want to try and outrun it, put it that way. Okay, the next demonstration we have to do, I'm sorry I'm from flying through this, is a ripple of boost. This basically uh, emulates what a, a tight in pattern would go like. So it's going to go from boost to the boost. You'll see it start with slower timing, then speed up at the end. So this is how a pattern would fire if it was just one row, but you can imagine all gridded up. Um, so we'll start slower, start from the right, and move to, to the left. All that stuff sits out in the collars, out in the pattern, ready to go. So, yeah, there is a phenomenon called uh, stretch, snap and shoot, which is where the lead lines, if you look over the window, you can see the, the little, little yellow cord running out, can get wrapped around a vehicle's tyre, rim, axle, pull, snap and actually set it off. That's, the, that's the, the big safety concern with having vehicles on the pattern. Even a dyno is the bomb, bomb use, it's the only one that's allowed on the pattern and even then it's controlled very, very tightly. So what we've got now, as you've seen, boosters unconfined. We've now got three boosters in 44 gallon drums of water. You see what a, a 450 gram booster can do when it's <coughs> confined. Far away, 40. It's not my car going over it again. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> so that, that's just 44 gallon drum full of water with one of these in each of them. So it packs a fair bit of a punch, eh? Now, the last display we've got is just deck cord again with drums uh, filled half 
I'm filled with petrol, only about 10 litres in each, and a little bucket of ampo is right at the back of the shot. So, we'll fire that. This is sort of, yeah, just to simulate just what it may happen if you, you went over and the fuel tank went up. <laughs> And we know where you all live, so, <laughs> so there you go. That's, and that was an 18 kilo bucket of ampho that made that bang. In one hole, maybe it might be 400 holes on the pattern, there might be seven, 800 kilos in every hole. So what you saw was, it made, I know, two, two and a half percent of one hole. So it packs a fair old punch, eh? Um, I think everyone wants to have a feed, so I'm not going to bore you any longer, but uh, thanks for attending this, and I uh, hope you got something out of it. Ha, ha, ha.